guys, it's Kasha here. It's been a bit of a while, I know. I haven't vlogged in a really long time, so please forgive me. I may not be the best at this moment in time. However, we are at the Disney Expo, and as you can see, there's a couple of guests behind me, which I will introduce, but I mostly, you know, Mr. Allen is just on his way. How are you doing? I'm I know good. it's been a long time since you've seen everybody. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, yeah, I'm very good. And then we have another guest with us, which many of you will know. Hello, you. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, and we have one more new guest that you've never met before. This is Scott. Scott, hello everybody. Scott is Charlie's partner, so if you see him in the background, that is who he is. So come and join us. We have all the questions that you asked us, so we'll answer some of them today as well. Sparkling, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah. His older brother Roy started a cartoon studio in the back rooms of a small real estate office in Hollywood, California. This was the small beginning of a family entertainment company that would create unforgettable stories. Characters that become beloved friends, wondrous experiences, and music that has become the soundtrack of our lives. That young man was Walt Disney, a master storyteller whose imagination knew no bounds and who delighted in making the impossible possible. Disney 100, the exhibition, is a journey through 100 years of Disney magic. Good time. Yeah. Um, so we got asked lots of questions, and we said we were going to answer some of them while we were walking around the expo. Yes. Okay. First question is, how are you doing? I'm okay, thank you very much. Um, other health complications, but it's fine. Hence we're, the delayed Halloween. Hence the delayed Halloween. <laughs> but we're cracking on, and I'm so happy to be here because yeah, I was worried I was going to miss out, but this is amazing. I love it. Good time, Mr. Allen. I am, yes. What's your favourite Disney movie? Yeah. Too many to choose. Well, okay, who's your favourite thing in here? Because there's quite a few in here. We've got, oh, we've got two. Yeah, I'm listening. Roger Rabbit. Okay, this is the um, Do Judge Doom. Brown Me, yeah. And I do like Jafar and Iago. Oh, yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah. It's very cool in here. And then in the second section. In the second section, yep. Yeah. I'm listening. <laughs> You're taking photos of the second section. 
Yes. Hercules. Oh, I love Hercules. This is an underrated movie. I want to see it on Broadway or I do love Western. Milan. Oh, you like Milan? Phil Moana. Very cool. That's East. someone who's going to get very excited to see this she's just over in the other side still having a look over there We're in the animal section. Hello, you. Hello. <laughs> okay, would you like another question from the okay. viewers? Um, how many ears do you have compared to how many ears Tasha has? I haven't counted on them, have I? Um, I think when we counted them, it was 30 something. I've got 30 now. I'm on 3 0. I was on 29, and then my ratatouille years came. I will insert. Put it here when I've counted. Them. You know I'm editing this tomorrow, so you're oh, counting them, okay, for I'm tomorrow. counting them for tomorrow. So it's some thirty something. I can't. Remember. Yeah, I think you've got more now, haven't you? You got. I do. I have some for Christmas. I'm looking at him because I know I've got some for Christmas. About four in section on the park so Alan is losing it slightly.
to shop at the end. And because we bought a VIP package, we get one of these and we get a drink as well. Don't we? we got the pin. Oh, and we got a pin, which I'll have to insert a picture here. It was very good. There was a lot to read and stuff. And poor Scott is like moving out of the <laughs> shot very slowly. Okay, so, but we know that you've sent in a load of questions and we're sorry. So we're answering a lot of them now. Okay, so, uh, where would you love to go on holiday next? Ooh. What, if I could go anywhere? I don't know, well, it just was the question. Whoever sent the question, thank you very okay. much, by the way. I did um, write down who wrote the, <laughs> sent the question, so I'm sorry. Are you going anywhere? Probably, we want to go to Japan, Disney, Disney it's the Tokyo in this, Disney. Tokyo Disney, yeah, it's not even called land, is it? it's just Tokyo Disney. Alan, over to you, what's it called? Uh, yeah, it's Tokyo Disney and it's Tokyo Disney, Disney, Disney. it's one of the parts, yeah. Okay, there, that's so where you're I going go. to Japan, I would like to go to California, because I've never done California, I know that's on the cards, because we're now DVC, so, um, Definitely do that, and I also want to do Hawaii Alani, which is definitely on the cards. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Right, next question. Uh, oh, what's our favourite memory together? Oh, that's hard. We have loads of amazing memories. We do a lot of things together. Um, what's new? In, in Be Our Guest was amazing when you yeah. guys showed me Be Our Guest, like took me to Be Our Guest. Because um, you you'd seen the magic before, but I hadn't, and I'm a big Beauty and the Beast fan, so that was amazing. Um, and when we went to Alaska, and we were on the small boat, oh, and went yeah. all the way up to the glacier, and saw the white, or heard the white thunder, that, I think, yeah, they're two of my favourites, but there's loads. I could we do so many. I, well, that boat trip, definitely up there. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones that are different. It's hard, isn't it? Because we do so much. Um, I mean, doing shows, sharing shows together as well. Yes. We just recently did White Christmas together. That was a lot of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. Um, oh my god, like walking down Main Street the first time together, or watching the fireworks together, oh. and things like that, you know. Right. <laughs> Get a lot of tears from some people. Okay, next question. Thank you for all these questions, they're wonderful. Um, do you have any plans to go on holiday again in the future? So. We don't together, <laughs> but at the moment, they, t them two, do. So where are you guys going? We're going to Disneyland Paris in um, January, the end of January. So what are you saying? very excited. We are staying in Santa Fe because this one loves cars. And they're very good for access, actually. Accessible rooms, you get an extra additional room for your care. So um, yeah, they're very good at Santa Fe for that. And lots of layers. <laughs> lots of layers. We're going to be January and we're going to be freezing. <laughs> in the Disney magic, so. And then over to me and Alan. Alan, are you able to get in the shot? <laughs> Alan, because I'm not in the shot, you need to tell the people. Well, where are we going? Yeah. Uh, from this date being filmed, 20 days, we fly to Orlando. Uh, we get on the Disney Fantasy for seven. <laughs> and then we go to Port Orleans French Quarter for seven. Um, we've got some nice new things to put scheduled, haven't we? Yes, so watch out. So we're going to be vlogging again. Our trip and our vlogs will not be out until February. Um, these two, will you be sending anything? Like Anything. video, like video Ooh. wise, because I could maybe Send add to the a vlog. Mini vlog. <laughs> Send, yeah, a tiny little vlog because the people want to see. Uh, um, maybe we'll show you some uh, highlights. Highlights, yeah, I wouldn't mind highlights. Well, to be fair, I get all the all the pictures. <laughs> how, oh, okay. So someone's asked, how hard is it to travel with a disability? So this is over um, to Charlie. It's hard, people. I'm not gonna lie. Um, to be fair, okay, it, traveling internationally hasn't been too bad for us, I'd say. So you just let you make sure that the airline know in advance what your disability is, what aids you might be traveling with, um, and that's been quite smooth, I think. Once they know that, I can't think of problems we've had, fortunately. We've been Alan, do you remember any problems? Uh, we've had the issues with the insurance side for Virgin when. They cleared you and then we tried to check in. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's tricky getting on the plane with 
everything that comes with you because of the electric wheelchair we have to take the lithium batteries and the wheel. Yeah, I think carrying all that. If you were by yourself or with someone else, it'd be a lot. No, I couldn't do it alone. Even like, three, but even look, what was it when it was the three extra people? Yeah, we can't. Yeah. It was still a nightmare carrying all the luggage. And everything. Yeah, because I get put on my. You know, you don't have any footage of me in it. I, I think. don't think I do. It's, it's, oh no, we're not going on the paper. Because I've got, to, I've got to carry all the bags. <laughs> If I, if I get a chance to, I'll see if I've got a photo, but it's a tiny little chair that just fits down the aisle of the plane, so I get put on that, literally strapped in like a crazy person. Um, and then they wheel me down while these guys are amazing and have all the bags and have to get off. And parts of the wheelchair. And parts of the wheelchair. <laughs> so that's hard. You definitely couldn't, well if you did it alone, you'd have to be a lot more um, independent than I am. <laughs> Um, I'm very grateful to have these guys help me. Uh, I would personally say, and correct me if you think I'm wrong guys, but travelling internationally I think is much easier than travelling like in England. Yeah, I like, agree. Using the trains here is a nightmare. Using the buses here is a great. Um, so actually... Yeah, getting, get, getting home on the London Underground when you've got a theatre show and stuff like that. Oh my god. Yeah. So, that could be a nightmare. I'm taking that question quite broadly, like yeah. travelling and with a bit of disability, I think personally, if you're travelling internationally, everything's prepped in advance, things do go awry, like we had and have had issues, but compared to travelling, not in, what's the word? Not internationally. Um, uh, domestically? Domestically. Travelling domestically <laughs> is actually a lot more complicated and a lot more irritating. Next question is for everyone, I think. And Think about this, Scott. This was to you as well. Okay, um, your favourite Disney snack. <laughs> so, Alan, over to you. Cheeseburger spring rolls. Can it be a drink? Okay, Night Blossom, 100%. Oh, no, Have you had I anything? Have not had a Disney snack. Haven't you had something that Charlie's brought home? Have you, have you brought me anything home? Rice crispy treats. No, I probably eat them all before he's had a chance. Yes. <laughs> okay, the truth comes out. So you're happy oh. to do that once you've been. So you're a virgin at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had, had, had a Disney snack yet. Oh, this is so depressing. We all have to sort that out. We do. You uh, my favourite Disney snack. Ooh, a pod. Um, oh, I do like the cinnamon roll, but is that a snack? Is that class as a snack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In Gaston? Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll go for Gaston. What about crispy treats? And crispy treats. But there's too many. Like the cookies, the ice creams. The oh. The one with the. Yeah. Oh, the one with the. There's just too many. Bar. Too many things. Okay, Charlie, our next question is how did we meet? Ah. Through the magic of musical theatre. <laughs> <laughs> it was. What year was it? It was 2016. So I've known her since 2016 and she came along to our um, local drama group and we were putting on Spam and the Musical and at the time I was the membership secretary so I welcomed any new people and she came along but she wasn't in her electric chair, she, chair. she was in a manual chair back in the day. I did. Back in the good old days. Me. <laughs> the good old days. And um, I just asked her to get up and dance because there was a dance audition and she laughed. So I knew we would get on. <laughs> and now she's regretted it ever since. <laughs> okay, next question, which I think is hilarious. Whoever sent this, well done you. Who would who would win in a fight? <laughs> now I don't understand the parameters of this question. Are we fighting? Are we fighting something together? I don't understand. You two fighting. If Come we're fighting each other, I have heavy machinery on my side, just saying. I think but. she would break a couple of bones. <laughs> but then but then, I, but then I could break her couple of bones. So <laughs> if she didn't have the machinery. If I didn't have the machinery. Yeah, I'll be useless. Can you imagine? <laughs> then you definitely would win. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I think depending on the situation and scenario, <laughs> either us could win. But would we want to fight? No. Nah. I get her ankles anyway, don't need to be fighting for that. <laughs> right, next question. We had, oh, this one's for you, Charlie. Okay. Charlie, did you have your condition when you were a child? So my condition is genetic, so yes. Um, I was born with it, but I was only diagnosed at the age of 14. So people who've new to our channel, what, have you, what condition do you have, sweetie? I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, EDS, and I have the hypermobility type, which is type three. Uh, which basically means that 
putting it very simply, my joints are very elastic, so they dissipate easily, lots of chronic pain, fatigue, etc. It also affects your insides, but I'll let you research all of that if you really want to know. But you will have questions, ask Tasha and Alan and they will know all they can ask. Exactly. And if you wanted to know a little bit more, we do talk about it while we're in Alaska, in the Alaskan vlogs, where we've just talked about the little boat. I ended up doing a medical segment for Charlie. <laughs> An impromptu medical section. So if you want to know a little bit more, um, Charlie does talk about it a little bit more in that, so I'll put a link or something. I'll do something fancy. Okay, question for Alan, whoever sent this. I think this was Alan who sent this, by the way. Question for Alan is Alan. Alan, Did I? how do you put up with these two? With great difficulty. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He loves it. Alcohol, margaritas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Frozen margaritas. What theatre production has been your favourite to be part of? Oh, uh, Legally Blonde, personally, just because I loved playing Paulette. That was my favourite. Um, oh, I think mine was Sister Act. I was in the chorus at that point. And we were just, oh, I had just such a blast being a nun. Um, we've just recently done White Christmas. The production before that was... Crazy for you. Oh, and we did Little Mermaid together, um, which was really cool. And we have a future production. We and do. <gasps> and this one's going to be amazing. She has a great role. We're, we're doing Rock of Ages, the musical, and I'm playing Justice Charlier. So I can't wait for that. Right, next question. We're nearly at the end of the questions, by the way, guys. We're doing it all in one segment. Uh, oh, okay. What's it like to live in London, planning a visit? What do you recommend we should do? Ooh. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy your visit. So, Scott, you can get involved in this one. If you were coming from abroad, what place would you say to go into London? What are the must-bees? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Oh, this is a good bad. recommendation. It's not that bad. Yeah, no, it's, I like not, London, it's not too it's bad. bad. I'm trying to think what I would actually do in London, though. Like, what are the big oh, ones? So, like, Buckingham Palace is a big one. Like, London yeah, Eye. Yeah, open the sun mount from the year. I don't know, what else is there, like, but big London ones? Zoo, big oh. London Zoo. Tower of London. Tower of London. Hampton Court Palace. Don't do Madame de Sauce. No. Uh, they're the same everywhere, though. If you've been yeah. to Madame de Sauce, then you don't need to do another place. Um, Theatre Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. West End Theatre is better than Yeah, I've just Definitely. probably massaged everything. Do they, yeah. do they subscribe yeah. people from my channel now? Yeah, I'm sorry, but West End is. Anything else, Alan? Can you recommend any other places if you're coming to London? Food. What food? Well, there's, lots of, there's lots of good little, little oh, restaurants areas. Find Chinatown. a good pub. No, but find a good pub and then get proper grub. Yeah, like pub English grub. Pub. Yes. Yeah. That doesn't charge you the earth. Oh, it will. <laughs> it's London. Okay, question. Do you ever get nervous meeting characters? See, I do, whereas she is like a natural. I've had to learn from watching her how good she is with characters. She is. Honestly, she is. But then I finally got to do proper interactions on our last holiday. Because we didn't get to do it during the one before because of COVID. Yeah, that's true. So the last one we went on, I actually got to meet them and I was nervous. <laughs> your first one was Merida though, wasn't it? It was Me your first was day. Amazing. First day, I was all dressed up for her. And yeah, that was cool. So you're going to meet characters this time. <gasps> and I'm going to embarrass you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, and you just always have to put up with characters, don't you, Alan? <laughs> okay, we've only got two more questions left. All right, and then we'll end this lovely, the end of the vlogs, like for 2023. Amazing. And we have so many new subscribers this year. We'll talk about that later. Well, I'm digressing. Okay, so the last two questions. Favourite Disney restaurant? <laughs> Can I have two? Am I allowed to have... Ooh, am I bought one? Mm. Oh. Okay, I think it has to be two because of uh, yak and yeti, honey chicken. And Winnie the Pooh's restaurant, the Crystal Palace. I love it there. I love it inside. I love the atmosphere in there. And the food. Mama Melrose is amazing as well. Oh. Uh, the Italian food in Mama Melrose is cool. And I haven't been there yet, but we're going to Chez Remy in Paris. 
and I am so excited for that. But we'll see. I don't know what it's like. What well, about California Grill? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, and the fireworks. The fireworks while we were eating. Oh, this is too hard. That's a hard question. What about you? Um, I like the boathouse. Okay. Yep. I don't like the boathouse. I like the steak restaurant where I upset the steak man. See, I, out of the three steak restaurants we've done, I think that was the worst out of the three. Really? Yeah, the best steak was Be Our Guest, which is surprising for Be Our Guest. Then it was, then it was California, and then it was the Yachtsman. But that could have been that because I chose the wrong part of steak. Mm. I did go for a ribeye there, where I usually go for the filet mignon. Okay, and last question of the day, peoples. Favourite time of year you visited Walt Disney World? Christmas. Sorry, it's going to be Christmas for me. I love Christmas, I do. But I think we went, when I've been to Christmas, it was during COVID times. Yeah. So I don't think I got the same Christmas experience as you guys. So for me, it was when we went last to Flower and Garden. Because it was just so beautiful and it smelled amazing. And the extra food that was there. Oh yeah, the food booths. And because we got good. to meet characters too for the proper flight time. What about yourself? I do love a bit of Christmas. Christmas. We need to do Halloween again, don't we? Do we? We do. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching this small vlog. I know it was very small. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was nice catching up with this one. Well, I'm sure we'll see in the new year. Um, at some point, we'll do another little vlog together, I'm sure, with the Disney the theme or something. <laughs> um, as we, Alan said to you, we are going away in January, so I can't wait to share the holiday like vlogs with you then. Next year, we have quite a lot planned, so please keep an eye out. If you're new to our channel, welcome to the madness that is our channel. We are not professional, we never will be professional, but we have a good fun and laugh time while we're doing it. Um, I hope you had a really good Christmas. I hope you have a fabulous new year, and we'll see you in 2024. Bye, guys.